Another class I think would be even better for dentistry is actually Hello guys! Konnichiwa! Ni hao! Hola! Bonjour! My name is Jack and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and I'm really happy that you're here. Today I'm going to talk about the... about about which classes I took to get into dental school. For every single dental school, they follow these core classes that you must have and must take if you want to apply to any of the dental schools. And those classes are intro bio one and two with lab, intro chemistry or inorganic chemistry one and two with lab, organic chemistry one, physics one and two, and also two English courses. The ones that I personally took was intro to literary analysis and creative writing. What people usually do is spread them out throughout their undergrad career. Most of the people that know that they're going into a healthcare field or are set on becoming either a medical doctor or a dentist or a pharmacist or a personal not personal training. Most of them will take intro bio and intro chem the first year and then organic chemistry the second year and then sprinkle all the other classes in where they can fit them in. But this is not how you need to do it. If you decide after your first year, after your second year, you can definitely take these classes later and still get into dental school. Maybe you won't be able to go directly into dental school and you're gonna have to take a gap year, but a gap year is not a bad thing and I'm sure that you are gonna make the most out of it in terms of either relaxing and traveling around and having fun or learning, taking extra classes, learning a new skill, preparing yourself to be a better dental student when you do go into dental school. Along with these core classes, there are also many recommended classes that dental schools will list on their website or the ADEA official guide to dental schools where you can see all the courses that they require because they might require more courses than just those core ones I described and also recommended classes that they would like to see you have taken. The next courses that I have taken that I'm going to list out for you, for some schools they might be required, for some schools they might be recommended these recommended classes that I took, Calc 1 and 2, Biochemistry 1 and 2, both Calculus and Biochemistry were part of my major. I was a Biochemistry major, so I had to take them anyway. Psychology, Statistics, Anatomy and Physiology, and Microbiology. The next group of classes that I am going to list out are ones I listed that would help get into dental school. I don't believe that any dental schools require these classes, but I know a lot of them would recommend them or even if they don't recommend them, if they see it on your transcript, you know, you know, they might throw a little smirk on their face like, hmm. So those classes that I took include genetics, medical ethics, protein chemistry, biology of cancer, biophysical chemistry, and research classes. So research classes are like directed studies that you set up with a professor that you want to work for, and you join their team and you conduct research under the supervision of that professor. My first pre-health advisor, and he was also my intro chemistry professor, uh, actually recommended me to take ceramics, which isn't on a lot of dental schools like recommended. Not only did I enjoy ceramics, it actually did help on what he told me it would, and that is manual dexterity. So ceramics, if you don't know, it's kind of like pottery. You make different objects or cutlery plates and stuff with your hand by molding the clay. Um, turns out there were actually a couple dental schools during my interviews that asked me about my ceramics experience and I was definitely able to talk about that class with them if a dental school asked me uh, what were some of my favorite classes I took during undergrad, which did come up quite often. Another class I think would be even better for dentistry and I tried to find classes at my school, at my adjacent schools, and just courses during the summer, but I was not able to, is actually jewelry. Apparently, um, one of my dentists told me that the pieces that you use for dentistry and the pieces that you use for jewelry are very similar. Some of them are the same. So if you have practice making jewelry, it can really directly translate into your hand-eye coordination and hand skills that you would need to perform dentistry. The other classes that I took that were not related to dentistry include Intermediate Chinese, 
creative actor, economics in the world economy, race, health, and social justice in US history, data-driven decision-making, entrepreneurship, as well as couples and intimacy. Clark University, the college that I went to was a liberal arts college, so I had to fill out seven or eight different perspectives, which explains the variety and the different classes that I took. For example, intermediate Chinese filled the language perspective, economics and the world economy filled the global perspective. I really hope that that information helps some of you. Remember, I am just a about to be dental student, pre-dental student. I'm not an admissions counselor. So the best way to get direct information is by contacting the schools directly. If you took anything out of this video or if you liked it, definitely hit the like subscribe and notification bell as it really helps to support me. Also, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below because I really love reading all of the comments and responding. My name is Jack Khan. If you live in the United States, happy 4th of July, and I'll see everyone next Monday for another video. Bye.